Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the fifth place AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. As you can see, we are some 16 points out of the automatic qualification spots uh, to move up to the Premier League. That's not particularly encouraging. It means that we are very likely going to find ourselves in a playoff, a four-way playoff, in which only one of those teams will emerge into the Premier League. Nervous times here for the Wimbley Wombleys. We're playing today in Bolton, beautiful Bolton in the Reebok Stadium. Um, and today I'm going to, uh, to the, the question of the day sent in by a Wimbley Wombly fan is as follows. I want to read it exactly. Will there ever be a sitcom greater than Friends? Now, um, I mean, I guess I want to begin, begin to answer this question with a question, which is, is Friends the greatest sitcom of all time? And I'm going to say a reluctant no. Now, I think that Friends is an excellent sitcom. Don't get me wrong. It's a fine, fine piece of work. Uh, one of the greatest sitcoms of the 90s, I would even go so far as to say. Um, not the greatest sitcom of all time. Um, the greatest sitcom of all time is The League, uh, which is just perfectly tailored for people my age. It's a, it's a demographer's dream. Um, to create a show like The League that will be watched entirely by people who are identical to each other and therefore, oh, pulled it back a little too far. And then what is he doing? What is he doing? What was that guy doing? Oh, man, that was a little frustrating. Um, maybe now we could score. Oh, cut it back, friend. Go get that ball. Oh, they cleared it. Okay. So um, I think Seinfeld might be the greatest sitcom of all time. I also think I Love Lucy might be the greatest sitcom of all time. Um, and then there's The League, of course. Meredith, any other, any other likely uh, candidates? The Office. The Office, I would argue, probably as good or slightly better a sitcom than Friends. But I will say this for Friends. I think it is the greatest, like, standard sitcom of all time, if that makes sense. Like, there, it wasn't particularly innovative. You know, it wasn't particularly fresh. It was just good. The writing was good. Maybe it wasn't innovative, and I just don't know my sitcom history. To be fair, I want to be clear, as usual, that I'm not an expert in the field of sitcoms or any field other than conjoined twins, young adult literature, which I'm not even really a... Uh, I don't really have that great a command of, of what's going on in YA lit these days. So I'm not, I, you know, I'm not an expert. But, oh, God, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to show your courage! Oh, Deany. He drinks... He philanders, and then he can't get to the long balls. Um, I don't, you know, I, I try not to have opinions about people's behavior, but Dini, just, he's really getting to me, and he's not scoring, and he's not playing well, and he's, oh, 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 for the love of God! Who was that? Oh, that was disappointing. It wasn't Dini, I don't think. I could have passed to Dini and probably scored, but... Just that was fru that's frustrating to get that kind of opportunity and not 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 put it in the back of the net. Um, yeah, I think The Office is a better is a better sitcom, a more interesting sitcom, uh, ultimately than um, yeah. Then there's Homeland. That's a great sitcom. It's so freaking funny. Like every time, it's like, is Carrie really gonna do that? And then she does. It's so funny. Um, yeah, so I don't think, I, I, I'm not sure that I buy the argument that, the fr that Friends is the greatest sitcom of all time. The, I think the question for the second half, which we haven't gotten to yet, is will there ever be another great sitcom, you know, after the league? Uh, presumably the league will go off the air someday. Uh, not soon, I hope, but, but someday. And also, like, what are, what are, oh no! What a job! What a job that was by our defense, just crowding him out, showing some courage. That's a nice ball. That's a nice ball. That's what, that's what we call a searching ball. Oh, I liked it. Um, uh, I, I think the best, the best sitcom that I watch on TV right now is definitely The League. Um, but I also enjoy... Uh, I also enjoy... I mean, and, and most of the shows I enjoy have funny parts but aren't funny shows, if that makes sense. Like, Orange is the New Black has a lot of comedic moments, but it's not, obviously, it's not a sitcom. Um, and a lot of the sitcoms I watch now don't, uh, don't have laugh tracks, like uh, The Mindy Project uh, doesn't have a laugh track. Uh, New Girl doesn't have a laugh track. So, I mean, you know, the nature of sitcoms has changed. You've got very popular sitcoms now, like, like Big Bang Theory, which I actually think gets kind of a bad rap among nerds. I think we're a little too, uh, we're a little too mean to 
populist attempts to make nerdy stuff popular. Um, it's halftime. It's nil-nil. Uh, what are the other great mo modern family is a, is a well-loved, more traditional sitcom, somewhat traditional? Um, I, I, I don't watch it myself, but I know lots of people like it. Are there any others, Meredith, that are, that are still relatively popular? See, I think the issue is that the sitcom itself is sort of an outdated model. Like, why 22 minutes long? Why do you have to have a joke every X minute? You know, er, 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 as, and, and all that stuff. Like, I'm not convinced that the sitcom itself, I'm taking out Deanie. He didn't please me with his performance. Um, you know who else I wasn't particularly impressed by? Uh, was uh, Frankenstein. I'm keep him in there. Do I really want to have a right midfielder playing central midfield? Probably not. Probably not. We're just going to leave it like that for now. We're only going to make two substitutions. We're going to attempt to be more professional. But we're going to make them both at halftime, which is bold. Just wanted to let them know that I'm not pleased with this style of play. So I took out Hell's Pels, and uh, I took out Deeney. I, I just I didn't feel like Deeney performed at all there. And we're going to bring in John Green. He's going to see what he can do with Dicko. John Green is missing his husband. There's no question about it. But this Deeney Dicko team just isn't what they used to be at the beginning of the season. It's almost like people found out the Deeney Dicko comedy duo, and they were like, yeah, it's not going to work anymore. Don't call a foul there. That was just two men doing some, doing some knee hugging. Oh, get that ball. What a ball to Dicko. Go oh, no. How did he not score? How did Dicko not score? He was alone with the keeper. Oh, John Green did everything right. He got the ball to Dicko at just the right moment. That's so freaking frustrating. Oh, man. Catch the ball. Good job, buddy. All right, we're going to play it out from the back like we like to. There we go. Pass. Nice. Oh, boy. That's not good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, look, in the, in the era of, like, digital media, I think it is very strange to limit yourself to this, to this particular well-trod format that's 60 years old, that things will be 22 minutes long, that there will be uh, one laugh joke for every 40 seconds of film, that, um, that there will be a setup and a setup, and, and then the laugh joke. The care, you know, that, um, that almost all of the, the, the show will be shot inside because interiors are less expensive than exteriors. All that stuff. Like, I don't, bu I don't buy the argument anymore that we need that stuff. Like, I think we could do it very differently and still have it be very effective. So I do think that sitcoms are doomed in that sense. Like, I, I think that... Um, I don't think that they'll look like they look now. But I also think that they've already been changing, you know? Like, they already look different. And that's, that's good. Um, because, you know, we need... Right now, like, sitcoms are partly built for their audience, but they're also partly built for advertisers, right? Like, why are they 22 minutes long? Because advertisers. Why uh, do they make a point of referencing Coca-Cola? Because advertisers. Like, all that stuff. And they don't need to be that way. Like, like th that, that structure is, I think, out of date a little bit. So... I think that um, I think a lot of these changes that are coming that are scary to the movie industry with good reason are good changes. Get it? Oh, you can't stop him. You cannot stop the great John Green clicking his heels. Oh, he's big. He's tough. He has a brilliant puff. Other John Green. Other John Green. Uh, be uh, beautiful. Just, you know what? What, what? What's that face about, Meredith? Is it about my, my singing? No, tell me. You can tell me. You can tell me what the face was about. That was your happy face. That did not look like your happy face to me. I'm going to be honest with you. It looked like you were in physical pain. Was it my singing that caused you that pain? It's okay. I'm not going to. I'm not. It's okay. I understand that I have talents and that playing FIFA and singing are not among them. Even though this is kind of what I do for a living. Um. I don't know. Do you think there will ever be another great 22-minute sitcom, Meredith? Like a th with, with, yeah, three-camera sitcom uh, with a laugh track. No, yeah, so Meredith and I agree. The three-camera laugh track sitcom, get there. Really good tackle. Clutch tackle by H. Walter White. Really, really good stuff. And that's a nice ball. Not as nice as I thought. Get, stay in. Good job, buddy. Good job. I like the hustle. Oh, there's D. Michelis. His hair is just awful. It's just awful. Unfortunately, it's like that in real life, too. It's no better. Come on. Pass. 
to the Golden Child. That's a nice, that's a nice searching run. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Unfortunately, I think, I think it may have been taken by the wrong player, if you know what I mean. But I love, I love his hustle. I think that's H. Walter White, and I really have become fond of him as a player. Uh, but he's not a finisher. He's he's a left back. Um, yeah. So I think I think that is doomed. If you want to talk about a three camera laugh track. Um, sitcom. I think that Friends might genuinely have been the last great one. So it will always have that. Um, you know, and it will always have uh, the, the, the follow-up Joey, which was not the last great three-camera laugh track sitcom. Um, Seb, maybe you would have been appropriate to run to the ball there. Oh, okay, he was offside. It's like, Seb, geez, for the love of God, aren't you a professional goalkeeper? When the ball comes into the goalkeeping area, shouldn't you keep? That's a nice ball. Nice ball to Frankenstein. Everything's right about it. Okay, we got a corner. We got a corner. All right, everybody focus. Dicko. It's in. It's not bad. It was a little bit bad, actually. I take that back. And then the golden child tried to head it in from outside the box. That probably wasn't going to work. Let's be realistic here. Get there. Get there. Get there. Don't let them, do not let them march down the field and score here, guys. Go. Keep on the pressure. I mean, keep the pressure on. I lose my, uh, I lose my prepositions when I get stressed out. And I am stressed out right now. We need this win. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Go. Go. What a great ball from Dicko. Oh, it's in the net. It's Moe's Vestergaard. 16 years old. He just scored his first goal as a Wimbly Wombly. Look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. He actually went to the opponent's coach's box. That's a bold choice, Mose Vestergaard, but I like it. That's a good finish, too. It's a nice top drawer finish. We don't have a song for him yet. I don't even really know his name. It was the last kick of the ball. Mose Vestergaard, you're a wimbly wombly now, my friend. 17 years old, Meredith. The kid's got a future. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.